So guess what, everybody? A new garbage patch has been discovered in the South Pacific Ocean, and it's about 965,000 square miles. 965,000, and it's made up of uh, microplastics. So this is from the Weather Channel. A largely unstudied area of the South Pacific Ocean is home to a new, newly discovered garbage patch that researchers estimate to be 1.5 times the size of Texas, according to a recent study. This new patch found in the ocean's gyre, gyre, however you say that, is estimated to be as large as 965,000 square miles, reports ResearchGate. Gyres are areas of the ocean that are surrounded by circulating currents. They help circulate ocean waters around the world, but they also suck in pollution. Al Galita marine research and education scientist Charles Moore and his team of volunteer uh, researchers made the discovery during a six-month expedition. So basically what they do is they take these little devices, they put them out behind the boat, they drive around through a certain, you know, space, and then they take the thing out of the water and they look in it. And what happens, and it never fails, is that it is just full of pollution. Full of pollution, full of microplastics out the wazoo. Now they say, well, a lot of that's tied to, you know, different beauty products, cleaning products, microbeads were such a common thing in soaps and, you know, products like that for a long time. If I'm not mistaken, there's been a crackdown on them in the U.S., but it's still, apparently every day, there's still a lot of this stuff being pumped out into the ocean. And now we have a garbage patch 1.5 times the size of Texas, and this is a new one that's undiscovered on top of the older ones, which the old ones were in, you know, I guess the North Atlantic, or maybe... Yeah, I don't know where the other one was, but this one's in the South Pacific Ocean. So, isn't it amazing how, like, we fuck up the Earth massively and don't even really realize it? <laughs> we just fuck everything up, and then we're like, oh, oh, did something happen? Like, yeah, bitch, you just ruined the ocean. <laughs> Oh, did something happen? Yeah, you're fucking pumping carbon dioxide out into the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution, and you're ruining life on Earth and creating global warming. There's going to be trillions of dollars worth of damage, rising sea levels, more extreme uh, weather events, wildfires, droughts, wars over water and food, and people are just, oh, well, goodness me. <laughs> and then we don't do anything to fix it. It's like, oh, shit, we're fucking everything up, aren't we? Yep, we sure are. Well, that sucks. Anyway, um... I'm going to go buy some more microbead soap. <laughs> oh, so sad. See, this is why you need regulation, man. You need to regulate the marketplace because this stuff, there's a term for this in economic uh, terms. <laughs> there's a term for this in economic terms. There's a word for this in economic terms. Um, it's called externalities. It's unintended consequences of having a free marketplace. When you have a capitalist system set up, for example, one of the things that happens is you're going to have um, various companies that create tremendous amounts of pollution, and they're going to try to get rid of that, uh, whatever, toxic chemicals, whatever it may be, uh, air pollution, in the easiest way possible that doesn't cost them money. So, of course, there's the case of the, you know, the Hudson River being poisoned by, I think it was GE. We're so like, I don't know, it's easy to just dump this shit in the river as opposed to disposing of it in a way that might cost money that's safe. Fuck that, we're here to make a profit, dump it in the river. You know? Uh, that's one example of an externality. This is another example of an externality. Where it's an unintended consequence of having this product that did well in the marketplace. Oh, these beauty products have the microbeads. The microbeads give you a cooling sensation that makes it feel nice. And then, whoops, look at that. We just destroyed the ocean. <laughs> so, this is why you need regulation. This is why you need to make sure you curb the negative effects of having a capitalist marketplace... Uh, because you need to do sustainability, you need to make sure the environment is okay, you need to make sure things are safe and usable in the long term, and we don't just ruin the earth in a generation. So, this is a sad fact of life now, but a garbage patch, 1.5 times the size of Texas, and they even go on to say in the article, yeah, we're beyond talking about, oh, let's just clean it up by having these big nets or whatever and sweeping it up, they're like, that's not possible. Impossible. Quite a load of garbage, literally, that we've gotten ourselves in.